It's society's favorite treat. It's white and sticky. It all begins in a field where thick worker honeybees turn hard and suck worker honeybees warm honey sack, then return to the hive where other worker bees suck it out and chew it. That's when the beekeeper steps in. Bees will suck if taken by surprise. So the beekeeper sprays the hive with smoke from weed, a warning that foreigners are about to enter the hive. A hive can house thousands of hundreds of bees, all descendants of the prolific Grand Poobah Beedum, the queen bee. She's the big one in the middle. The queen bee lays up to two eggs a day, creating the workforce needed to feed and protect the colony. But the beekeeper tricks ha, got him. the colony's defenders. He replaces the hive's cover with a device called a bottom. Bees dislike the scent. Inside the honey factory, they set the frames on another machine called the poo's extractor. It spins the honeycombs until all the honey is forced out of the cells. Then, the honey is ready for Bob. You eat it. Wow, and all. Wow. They vacuum clean the jars. One beehive can yield up to seven pounds of honey in a single day. That's much more than the bees need for themselves. This is stealing! For centuries, the only way to harvest honey from hives had been to kill the bees. Then, in 18 1850, an American beekeeper invented a way to get the honey, yet spare the bees. His method, with the removable honeycomb frames, is the one we still use today. It's got honeycomb design on the inside. You can farm a bee in here. 